Hi, I'm Megan Lawrence and I am here today to educate you guys on breastfeeding and in hopes of uh, teaching you to breastfeed, you will breastfeed your children in the event you have any. One of the most highly effective preventative measures a mother can take to protect her child and herself is to breastfeed. All right, imagine yourself giving birth to a child at 34 weeks or worse, a child less than 34 weeks and your doctor walks in and says, your baby should pull through with the helps of our facility and your breast milk. And then you think to yourself, I chose to bottle feed. You didn't realize that once thought hard task is actually a simple life-saving tool. <sighs> and that will help the newborns not deteriorate. Along with countless other benefits, breastfeeding also can help you squeeze back into those pants that you once wore before Junior was born. Breastfeeding your newborn can provide numerous benefits to you and your baby without costing you a dime. I have breastfed both of my children and I felt amazing both times. I was able to give them the crucial colostrum and that in the event helped jumpstart their lives. I'm a nurse and during an admission assessment, I noticed that nine times out of 10, the parents who are admitted to the hospital for sick reasons are bottle feeding their children, which proves the statistics that breastfed children tend not to get sick as much as a bottle fed child. I will explain to you today the importance of breastfeeding to the newborn, how to breastfeed, how to latch, and why you should breastfeed your child and, and how it benefits you, your mother or your wife. Let me begin by explaining why breastfeeding to a newborn is beneficial. Babies are born daily and shortly after birth they begin to cry signaling they're hungry. You're ready to feed them, however if you choose to breastfeed you can assure your baby is being provided all the most uh, rich nutrients that will promote healing and well-being. According to the American Pediatric uh, Academy of Pediatrics, the following are beneficial to a newborn. Colostrum, that's the liquid gold that is um, immediately released uh, minutes after birth. It provides nutrients and antibodies along with vitamins that aren't in formula. They're actually passed passively from the mother to the child. It's easier to digest, especially in a newborn that's premature. Um, babies can absorb all the calories versus waste that, that is excreted in formula. Um, help them pick up calories to gain weight and to grow. Breast milk also fights diseases in cells. Um, the cells and the hormones in the breast milk help fight disease. Um, formula fed infants are at higher risk for diarrhea, ear infections, along with respiratory problems, skin problems, pneumonia, diabetes, and even leukemia. Breastfeeding is shown to lower SIDS. SIDS is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, and children that um, fall victim to this more likely were bottle fed versus breastfed. Statistics show that breastfed children have higher, higher IQ scores, so when they're in high school or college, um, they tend to be a little bit smarter than children that were bottle fed. It's correct uh, temperature at all times, so you never have to worry about a child being scalded by a hot bottle. And you can prevent hypothermia if a child's temperature is getting low. It can help bring their body temperature back up. Um, and a breast milk can also protect infants from contamination if a water's ever polluted. You know, a lot of times parents mix water straight from the tap, and if you ever have a water problem, you don't have to worry about that with breastfeeding. The water isn't needed. Now that you know why breastfeeding is so beneficial to the health of your newborn, Let's discuss how easy it is to latch and to breastfeed a child. <clears throat> breastfeeding is simple and easy to understand. And according to the National Women's Health Information Center, there are the following uh, recommended positions I'm getting ready to show you are the recommended positions for a new breastfeeding mother. All right, there are seven different ways to hold a newborn. And this is going to represent my newborn. It's a little baby, but I don't have a newborn right now to show you. Um, the cross cradle hold, which is easy and ideal for early breastfeeding, you basically will press the baby in your right arm and you're going to cross it over to the left arm. Cross cradle, opposite hand for the opposite breast and you hold the baby close. You use the baby to pull in and pull out. Um, the cradle hold, which is simple, is just like cradle holding a baby. You're holding the baby with the bottle, however this way you're going to grab your breast and breastfeed just like this. This is just as comfortable and easy. All right. A simple football hole. This is good after a cesarean or with women with large breasts or women with twins. 
twins, for example, you can hold both babies like this. If you have a large breast, these other ones don't work as well. Um, hold your newborn to the side with your elbow bent, and with your other open hand, you support your breast and you put the baby on. Very simple. All of these positions are simple, do are they not? I understand this is kind of uncomfortable for some of you men, but it's very simple and easy to understand. Um, the last one you have is called sideline. I can't really demonstrate it, but basically what you do is you lay down on the bed, and with the baby, you place the child to your side, and with your um, hand over here, you lay down with the baby, you use this arm to place the baby on your uh, uh, breast. Um, now, we know the positions. The problem is, is what do you do when you need the baby in that position? You need the baby to latch on and get a good suck. That's simple to do too, ladies. All right, latching is the single most important of breastfeeding, and the few easy steps will ensure a proper latch. First, what you do is you grab your breast, and you brush the baby's lips with it. That's gonna encourage the newborn to open up. The second they feel that latch, they're going to start rooting. Once your newborn's mouth is open wide, you grab their um, head and you pull it to the breast. Never put your breast into the baby's mouth. The baby's mouth has to come to the breast. Um, your newborn's gums should completely bypass the nipple. They should um, approximately cover about one inch of the areola behind the nipple. Make sure your baby's lips are exverted, which basically means they're flanged. You see the outside of the, the, outside of the nipple the whole time. Um, doo -doo -doo. Next, we will, breastfeeding should not hurt. It should be a simple tug at first until the baby's started to let down, but after that, it should not hurt. If the baby's sucking does hurt, you need to insert one finger to break the seal and to reach a latch again. Now that you know how simple it is and easy it is, let's look at the benefits for you, the mother, or your wife, which there are wonderful benefits for your wife and yourself. Breastfeeding not only protects and enhances the child's development, but it has an array of positive effects for the mother. According to the American Pediatrics Academy, um, the following are benefits to the mother. You burn more calories, which in vent will help you lose the pregnancy weight faster. You return your uterus to the size it was before pregnancy a lot quicker, and that begins immediately after breastfeeding, which will reduce postpartum bleeding, the dreaded postpartum bleeding. It releases natural endorphins and hormones, which promote uh, mothering behavior, also gives you that um, euphoric feeling. Delays your menstrual cycle, which maintains iron. Reduces the risk of ovarian and breast cancer. That's always a plus. Keeps your bones strong in the event um, of fractures in old age. It provides contraception, but however, you have to have the following three criteria met. You have to be exclusively breastfeeding, no bottle feeding. It has to be within the first six months, and your period cannot start. Once the period starts, your breastfeeding um, benefit of contraception is not good anymore. And also, it saves money. It's free. You do not have to pay. And according to the American Pediatrics Academy, parents spend no less than $1,500 a year in formula. And also, it saves time. You don't have to warm a bottle up. You just grab the baby and breastfeed. Once again, one of the most highly effective preventative measures a mother can take is to breastfeed their child. You now know that breastfeeding is essential to the newborn's growth and development. Breastfeeding is fairly simple and easy to do. And you know that you yourself can get, um, can get out of the process because it will also help you lose weight and prevent cancer and other things. Just by participating, you're delivering a special gift to your newborn. I'm urging you to take action. You need to please, when it comes time to, um, that you're pregnant or discussing feeding options for your child, please choose to breastfeed. You may notice it right away. You may not notice it right away, but when your newborn avoids countless trips to the pediatrician or 15, down, 15 years down the road, they're on the principal list year after year. You can think to yourself, I'm glad I breastfed. Also remember, there's benefits to you, a longer life, reduction of cancer, you save money, and you can get skinny, again, much faster. You can do nothing at all but offer your breast to your baby. How could you do it any other way? Thank you.